Oh, shit. Almost said you okay to my camera. Hello and welcome to FDS. My name is Nate and I'm your host. Today we are talking about photography bags. Yes, we are talking about photography bags. Specifically, the one I'm going to be talking about today is the Amazon Basics photography bag, but I will have links to a couple of others that are similar in style in case you aren't a big fan of the Amazon Basics line, as I know some people are not a fan of that line. Moving on. Sticking with my penchant for taking things that have nothing to do with trading card games and shoehorning them into trading card games, I picked this up and I immediately started using it as a Magic the Gathering bag. And I used it as such for about a year. And then around that time, my everyday bag, something happened to it. it got broke or something I can't remember. And in an odd turn of events for me, I decided not to buy a new bag and repurpose this one to be my everyday bag. But I kept magic cards in it in the off chance that somebody would be near me and go, hey, I could really go for some magic right now. Never happened, but I had the cards just in case. And I would continue to use it for my Magic the Gathering excursions by taking out some of my everyday stuff and putting in more magic cards and then just swapping it out. And it ended up working very well for me for about two years. And then something happened that that forced us inside for over a year and a half now, and I stopped using it. But I thought it would be a good idea to talk about it since we're starting to venture out of doors again. And I saw this bag on Amazon and the fact that it was really cheap, I had to pick it up, not for photography, because at the time I actually wasn't doing much in the way of any sort of photography, but because I knew it would be perfect for carrying around Magic the Gathering cards in an easy, transportable, customizable way. <laughs> Now, at the time when I picked this bag up, I was playing Magic in one of two ways. I was either going to the game store and drafting, but the other way I would play was every week or every other week, I would go over to a buddy's house. I would get there a little bit before dinner time, and then I would stay late into the night while the three or four of us would sit around, drink beer, argue about stupid stuff, and play Magic. What happens is when you're playing Magic for that length of time, you're going to want to have a selection of decks, and we also played a variety of formats. So I wanted to have a lot of decks that I could take with me, and I wanted it to be in an easy, transportable way. Now, to get the basic nuts and bolts of the bag out of the way, it's a basic backpack. It has a front compartment here that you can hold papers, notepads, pens. There's a little mesh bag here if you want to relive your high school years. Also, some other various pockets and things, places to keep sunglasses, that sort of thing. Then you have the main compartment, which is a extra padded portion that's rigid, so that way it can hold, essentially, photography equipment. And then these dividers that have Velcro on the end so you can customize it to fit and shape any setup that you have, be it if you have a tripod, a couple of camera bodies, some lenses, or if it's a couple of EDH decks, maybe a couple of standard decks and an Oathbreaker. Yes, I still play Oathbreaker. No, I will not stop. You also can get more of these dividers if you want. They don't even have to necessarily be the same brand just as long as they have the Velcro on the ends and you can further customize the bag as you need. And then finally, it has a compartment here in the back that is ostensibly for a laptop, iPad, that sort of thing. On the sides, there are two pouches that can hold extra memory cards, batteries for cameras, or just general batteries, or what I used them for was atomic fireballs. What? And then it has the basic arm straps, and it even has those little clippy thingies in the front there to make sure that it's clipped tight to your body, so that way if you're backpacking this across Europe, it will hold tight and won't give you much back strain. I, I don't know, I'm just assuming that's the case. It also has straps on the side that is supposed to hold a tripod, but I can report that it holds Ultimate Guard playmat cases very well and holds them fairly rigid on there if you just pull them really tight, so that way you can have your playmat on the side if you didn't want to stuff it in the bag with your decks. I did use it for the first year only for magic events. So I would take it to the store, my friend's house to play games or to any magic conventions that I went to like magic fests or we got grand prix they were called back then or any pro tours or anything like that, that if there was an event nearby, that's what I took to the event with all of my cards. And then I used it for my everyday carry bag for about a year. I also had audio equipment when I was working on another podcast and I would do remote interviews and it held up to all of that Use. I was carrying it every day and it was taking a beating. It was being schlepped from here to work and back and to remote interviews and all over the place. I was changing the configuration on this thing often and it worked. It's, it's a really good solid bag and it works really well for Magic the Gathering. As you saw, I had about 
10 deck boxes worth of cards in that bag. And yeah, it can hold that many. It could probably hold more. I do have a compartment down here at the bottom. It's to hold batteries and things that could roll under the dividers. And then I have one of the dividers over top of the container. So that way the items don't fall out and they don't roll around the bag all that much. So they pretty much stay where I want them to stay. I know there are other options out there and I've linked a couple down below that I think are comparable to these and in most cases probably better. Admittedly, they are going to be more expensive, but I do have some other options below. I've also included some options of some smaller camera bags that also are good for carrying around Magic Gathering cards. Hi, Future Nate popping in here because when I was doing the post-production on this video, I discovered that they don't sell this bag by itself anymore. You can only get it in a bundle with a tripod and I would imagine a lot of you out there would not be interested in overpaying for a tripod that you probably don't need and the bag that is included in the package is updated slightly from the one that I'm reviewing here. So I think this video should be taken more as a look at photography bags as a potential option for your Magic the Gathering cards because a lot of them have very similar features and they're really great for carrying around a lot of Magic cards. In fact, Amazon Basics does have a nicer version that it admittedly is more expensive that has a lot of the features of easy access to compartments and such that the nicer bags have. So that might be an option. So I'll include all of those links down below, but I wanted to let you know before you continued watching the video and then tried to go and buy this exact bag. It, it, it's been a while since I picked this bag up and I just assumed that Amazon would still be selling it and they are just in a bundle, which is annoying. Back to me. Now, it wouldn't be me if I didn't have some complaints. And I do. The first one is the dividers are sometimes finicky to move around. That being said, I can't lay this solely at the feet of this particular bag. I have had other photography bags and they've had the same problem. Since the entirety of the inside is made of the soft felt material, when you move those Velcro pieces, they catch very easily. The other complaint I have about this bag, when I would go to magic fests or comic conventions or any sort of events where I would want to have my cards with me for a long period of time, it would get extremely hot hot on my back. My back would get very warm. It has padding to make it comfortable and it is comfortable, but the padding has the side effect that it has heat retention. It's essentially memory foam. It's like a cheap memory foam. And if you know cheap memory foam, it retains heat like crazy. So after about a half an hour of walking around a convention hall in June with one of these on your back, it gets a little uncomfortable. If you are going to a convention with, with this, know that it has has zero security measures associated with it. I do know there are some backpacks that are specifically made for Magic the Gathering that have security measures integrated into the bag. And there are also photography equipment bags that have similar features integrated into the bag as well. So if that's something that's important to you, you may want to look into those other options as well. This is an excellent bag for Magic the Gathering or photography or game night or whatever that's actually has a lot of different uses. I do recommend this bag. If you're interested in it, check out the links down below. And also do not forget to check out that. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity, one episode at a time.